For years, my family's been coming to Maine, and my wife loves the place, and it's inspired a lot of her alcohol inks art. And now that she's retired and doing her art full time, we're looking for more inspirations. And so we're creating this series to share that search and just to share the things we love about Maine while we go look for more things to love. Pemaquid Point Lighthouse is a really popular destination. My family's been going here for years. That's my daughter, sister, and father in 2002. And here's Lori, very first trip to Maine, climbing on the rocks in front of Pemaquid, 1997. It's a bit of a haul from Hollowell. You have to go through some backcountry roads to Damariscotta and then down the long peninsula through Bristol to Pemaquid Point, but it's worth the drive. When you get there, the road narrows and it's actually quite pretty. You're gonna go past the beautiful Pemaquid Hotel. I always wondered what it'd be like to stay there. And then you get down and you can go to the right into the park or you could head to the left into the Seagull gift shop, which is my Pemaquid hack. This is where I like to go. The Seagull has an outside ice cream window and a nice little sitting area where you can look at the lighthouse and the ocean beyond. It also has a little path down onto the rocks. I call this the Pemaquid hack. You can get down on the rocks, get a lot of views of the lighthouse, and you don't have to pay the parking fee at the lighthouse. You can also get a great panorama from in front of the seagull. Lori was particularly taken with this little pine tree. This may be an inspiration for later. Off in the distance, you can make out Mohegan Island. The Seagull's been around since 1937 when it opened as a Seagull Tea Room, and they just rebuilt after a fire and have an expanded dining room that I'm dying to try out. The first one last look at the scenery. So, I have the Pemaquid Pescada. Mmm. It was delicious. After enjoying our meal, we got to talk to Brooke Connor, one of the owners. You guys just bought this place in 2017? We did, yep. Um, me and my partners. And um, I was a waitress here before then, so I've been here for many, many years. Oh. But yeah, we run the whole thing, and it's... Mm -hmm. It's meant so much to so many people and to get, I mean, the stories after we burnt down and the stories that just poured in about making sure that we were going to rebuild and the support we got from everybody was 
it just it blew us away so, so this is much bigger in here now right it is. This, this yes was, we didn't this... expect it to be quite so large but it ended up being um we wanted yeah. it to give a little more space um and because of covid it actually worked out pretty well good um and but the gift shop got a little smaller um but then we added a floor so now yeah. you can go see the kids toys and everything upstairs i, I understand there were whales and they're often porpoises yes out here. yep there was so many whales um everybody was videotaping them the other day there was oh gosh i'd say probably 15 or 20 of them and they were just coming right out it was a huge school of them which i've never seen that many usually we'll see one or two whales here and there um, porpoises all the time, but this was amazing. After lunch, Lori and I looked around the gift shop. Lori always likes to get sea glass jewelry, and I'm fascinated by these glass floats. They used to use these in fishing nets, and they just really look beautiful with the light behind them. This has definitely got me in the mood to go see some crafts. As we head up the peninsula, there's a nice little intersection with an ice cream shop and a Pemmican Craft Co-op. This is a favorite stop for Lori and I. There's lots of rooms, lots of work from a collection of local artists and craftsmen. This was always where I got my mother's birthday present. Some beautiful pottery here with really unique faces, especially that one. On this trip, I was struck with these cutout lampshades with really beautiful designs. And as luck would have it, the artist was there manning the counter. Pat Field does these things, and Pat's right here behind the counter, manning the counter. So Pat, how do you do these lampshades? They look really great. They're cut with an X-Acto knife, and then they're sculpted to make the uh, light shine through well. Yeah. Um, just an outline. That's, that's just you freehanding with an X-Acto knife. Yes. Wow, you could bring a knife to a gunfight and win. I don't think I want to try that. <laughs> <laughs> and there's these guys. Are I don't recall these, but they are interesting. Let's say that. These pieces are done by Tammy DeSalle, and they are interesting to say the least. The snowman. Whoop! Oh my! You do love snowmen. I do. The co-op has a second story with a lot of rooms to look at. So it's Dot Hutchins, and she's really got interesting baskets. And my basket buddies in North Carolina are going to feel like cheating on them, but these are really great baskets. Public woodworking, very impressive stuff. Look at over 50 crafters. They're all from the state of Maine, all handcrafted items. And a number of store for a number of years. And have more than one craft sometimes. But it's a good collection. It is. Okay, so, so you do these fish because I have put these on Christmas presents for so many years. I love these. Yes. Here we see the fish in their natural habitat, which is a Christmas tree. So, what do you think? What do we got? Uh, it's a yarn ball with a lamb, and the yarn comes out of his tail. Isn't that wow. cute? I love this. It's mm. perfect. Am I buying this one? No, you don't have to buy it for me. Now, I am reliably informed that these are not only pretty, but very sturdily built. 
pizza cutters. And who doesn't need a really cool pizza cutter? Okay, so these things unscrew so you can wash. Because I was just saying, oh, I'd love to get one, but I can't put it in the dishwasher, but. See, I don't come, get it all the way when off. I can take it all the way off, mine. but yeah, great. Yeah. So Cheryl, thank you for showing us around and I'm gonna have to buy that for my wife, aren't I? I think you're going to, because it's a very unique piece and you can't get a sheep without a tail. There you go. <laughs> Well, that'll do for this episode, but it's not the end of our visit to the Pemaquid region. We went to have lunch in New Harbor, a working harbor with great scenery, and Lori had a lobster the way you ought to have it, outside by the dock where they catch it. We enjoyed a lot of great scenery. It's always interesting to watch the fishermen as they go about their business. After enjoying the scenery here, we headed home and discovered a really great hidden gem at the Bristol Dam Swimming Hole. Passed it for years, never knew how beautiful it was back here, and we're really excited to share this with you. And this may be another inspiration for you.